Hi everyone, welcome to the Laura. Start the montage. Seriously, could farmland get any more picturesque? How iconic is that with the mountain? And the guys working in the field and the car coming to run me over, but going really nice and slowly. So thanks to that guy. We do appreciate. Bonjour, bonjour. What a nice man. He slowed down so that I could keep doing my footage. Awesome. <laughs> That's a little bit more scary, so we'll stop now. <laughs> and this is the Shushu in its natural environment. <laughs> it was a really quiet road. You can smell the earth. Oh, you can. It's petrochlory. It's just gorgeous. do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, oh, 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 wow. <laughs> Could it be any more picturesque? <laughs> <laughs> Ricky doing selfies because who wouldn't? But this is not the only thing. I mean, obviously the steel is really great and I'll tell you where it comes from in a minute. <laughs> but right behind there is the old Laura sugar chimney. So we'll go have a look at that, what's left of it. For those who are wondering, yes, the steel comes from Glasgow. <laughs> where? Where does it come from? Glasgow. Are you sure? <laughs> It says Glasgow. Does it? <laughs> Glasgow. Here, push it. Roll it. Roll it. <laughs> it's me. that points to the other old sugar mill. This is the old Lalora chimney. I know it says FTH 1916 but this is a lot older than that. A lot lot older. Oh you can actually... Oh this is the concrete one that replaced the original tower. Okay so that makes sense because the original tower would have been here but it did run for quite a while so they must have made a new a new tower, a modern 1916 structure. Yeah, 1916 structure made out of concrete. It almost looked like this come, came down from above. Yeah. It's too... I don't know, it, it's, it's cut off at the bottom. It, it's got a strangeness to it. It was La Laura. <laughs> but I think it was also known by a whole bunch of other names. And this place is actually becoming a place. I'm sure my good friend wrote an article about it. And if there's so, I will link it in the comments. Description, sorry, description. Link it in the description. Oh wow, what a cool place. Been lots of rain, which I'm sure this area is very happy about. Because they seem to grow the most agriculture I've ever seen in Mauritius. Tammy in the frame. This literally is someone's back garden. And it is full of vegetables. And you got your chili plants, you got something else and something else. And green onions and wow, whoa, <laughs> tripping on the road. No sidewalks. From the Lalora sign, you get to the start of the Peter Bath Summit. If you're planning on climbing it, you're coming this way. We're climbing it. <laughs> uh. Walk 
walking away from the awesome sun for the montage. And Peter Both. <laughs> and this is the center of Lenora. Wow, with such a great backdrop. The village council, gym, and the village hall. Oh, the clouds are moving in on Peter Both. Somehow I so often end up on the wrong side of these things. I'm supposed to be walking there, but where I came from is not there. This is the entrance into, into what I suppose is the main part of town. And there is a temple complex just to the side. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But unfortunately, Peter Both got some cloud on him. <laughs> a little bit sad, a little bit sad, but let's go in and have a look here because they've got their... their Mashavrati, the Mashavrati. Uh, Hello. I don't know what they're called. I'm gonna go see what it is. Go, Ricky. Yeah. yeah. Bonjour, bonjour. Well, let me show you this. They are known as a place that makes flowers. Can you imagine that people would carry this. It's got metal. Do you see this? This is metal. Yeah. Put that on your shoulders. Wait a lot. Oh. Oh. You need help. Please, more than one of me. <laughs> Who needs knees anyway? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the bridge is modern. Let me show you. That's pretty cool. So there's actually li lilies, pond lilies there. We'll go have a look at them in a minute. You wash your motorbike here on this Saturday afternoon. You just can't not get that pole. Something like 1,500 or something. <laughs> Sometimes you have to go backwards to get back on the proper walkway. <laughs> yeah, you really do. But look at this walkway. I mean, it's, it is pretty cool, but it is definitely going to guide us somewhere. Let me swing you around. <laughs> you have to go around there. That's Tammy there, but we're now trapped mm -hmm. in the infinite loop of having to be on this sidewalk forever. Go in and we keep going. And yes, we do keep going. Nice damped up area of the river with some benches. That's peaceful. That's really nice. In here. Beautiful benches. And look at this view. Wow. Ah, water lilies. They have literally dammed it up. And you know what else they've done? Supplied a place to chill. Uh-huh. Ricky can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> be kind of cool to have a bench on the other side as well, so you can see the mountains. Peter Both is back out. We better get there before he clouds up again, if, otherwise we won't have any views when we get to the top. <laughs> You're so funny. What a fantastic little place. Wow. We were sucked around here because there's a beautiful garden just there. And it was pulling us to say, hey, come look at the beautiful garden. Well known for growing flowers. Yeah, I think uh, it was Nicholas Pike who came through the area and said it was known for beautiful flowers. I think they used to actually take them to the the World Fair in Paris, they took wow. Mauritian flowers. And Maka, which we're still in the district of Maka, had the only nursery of the area, so it could very well have been here. As Lalora is an up and coming development area, they're gonna have lots, lots more happening here. There are a few little shops here. One, two, I'm going to go into one of them and get some juice. Hey, puppy. <laughs> Lunch mum <mom's> store. <laughs> I got some juice. <laughs> Rick, Ricky's being the cameraman. <laughs> So it's not going to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Walking down the street for the montage. Ah, 
Hi guys. Uh, wait, wait, I must do the sunny thing. Wait. <laughs> and then in Lenora. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. Wait, there's one more thing to do. You've got to do the tap out. <laughs> ah. Bye everyone. From me and Orangina, see you later. <laughs> Walking shadows for the montage. <laughs> 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 then you come across this sign. Yep. Wow, what spectacular views. And I really have to say, I'm a little surprised. I'm a little surprised. Will Tev said this was the easiest hike, and he was right. It was really an easy hike. We came all the way from there to here. <laughs> it was probably about four steps. But wow, really is the easiest hike. Oh, and then you get that to go view. up there. <laughs> up where? Up there. That's insane. I don't know if Mark is climbing it. No, 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 no. You're going to go anywhere. There it is. Oh, man. With the sun. And then look at that. You can see the islands. I'm going to zoom you guys in. Hope you don't mind. Hopefully it stayed clear. Whoa. Back. But how awesome is Peter Bath? Maybe that was the mountain. I don't know. I don't know. I'm here. I got the view. Wow. This is really amazing. We are so, so high up. And yeah, you, you could climb the 374 stairs and get a bit higher. But I think you kind of be looking into the sun. <laughs> we'll go check it out just now anyway. But this, wow, I'll take it. Small shrine and a, a growth on the tree. Ant house, wow. You're getting view. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. I think it's a bit hazy. I think there's a fire somewhere. Yeah, you can smell it. Mm. Walking in nature for the montage. Okay, let's get back to the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait for it. Please don't fall because if you fall, I'm pretty sure you're going to come crashing straight into where we are. Wow, maybe even a maybe even a better spot. We got some people over there picking uh, guavas. I'll see if I can find. Oh, I can actually see some guavas. So I'm going to pick some guavas in a minute. <laughs> I went hunting for guavas. Look what I found. I think I found easier ones on the side of the road. Nothing. Jumping. Well, yeah, I'm going to more now. <laughs> Most people are getting tight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Just the there, tea. but that's a mango tree. That's the top of a really big mango tree. That like, guava tree must be huge, but they're <laughs> all red there. Yeah, but you can't get that because that is into the abyss. I'm just going to zoom in for a second. So you can actually get a look at Peter Bath. You might be able to tell a little bit closer. Now that looks like a head. That is not actually coincidence. The reason it looks like a head. Because it actually is. Well, in this story that I'm about to tell you while walking up the hill here, there was a milkman and he was coming through this jungle. You guys have seen what the jungle is like. Getting a bit of jungle, Peter Bath or me. <laughs> And uh, he rested on a rock. And while he was resting there, look, that might actually be the rock. Obviously the path wasn't here, but it could have been that rock because they've always been going up this way. And just over there, over there, probably, uh, there were some fairies playing. And he looked over at the fairies and said, Hi guys, how are you doing? And they were like, what? And uh, they were like, but uh, no one can see us, you must have magical properties. And he was like, well, I don't know, I'm just a milkman. And so, okay, we're getting too far from Peter Bath. I'll, I'll, 
I'll, I'll start walking back You're down. You're very long-winded. I'm, I'm too long-winded. <laughs> For the speed you're walking. They said, please don't tell anyone uh, that you saw us here. And he was like, of course I won't tell anyone. But he did. And so they punished him. And you know how they punished him? They turned him into that. That's a milkman. We call it Peter Bath, but it's a milkman. Not only is that a milkman, but there are fairies somewhere here. Oh, I'm sure. It looks like a place where fairies could be. Look at those cool trees. And fantastic guavas. Oh, there are more. What a great story. And what a great reward. What is actually based on fact, though, is that Peter Bath was a person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, have a seat. Peter Bath is actually a person and, and it was named Peter Bath after could, him. After yeah. him. He was the governor, a Dutch governor uh, yes. of India. Um, a ship came here and he pulled into Bay of Tombeau. No, no, they, they actually discounted that. Oh, okay. The ship actually crashed at Flick on Flick. Oh, okay. Some divers in the 70s, uh, I was reading recently, Dived and they actually found his ship and some relics. So they actually got found his yeah. ship and some relics in the... Yeah. Oh, well, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. So Peter Bart's ship crashed and sank in Flick and Flack. Yeah. And the wreckage of it in the 70s. Yeah, I wonder if you can dive it. I wonder how deep it is. Well, I'll go find, find out. out. Either they're all sour and you've just gotten used to them or you just gave me the sour one. That was crazy sour. <laughs> like uh, a monkey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're losing all your guavas. I put them in your mouth. Yeah, you, you gotta put them in your mouth. <laughs> Hold them better. You would not be a good guava farmer. <laughs> okay, give them a rest. One more for you. One more for me. Mm. She's trying a proper flavoured one. Mm. Better. Mm-hmm. Mm. Low -hmm. mm. hanging fruits. <laughs> I think you're supposed to leave those for the the less abled people. <laughs> you can pick it with your mouth if you like to eat it. <laughs> Brian has a guava problem. No, I don't. Say so, hi, my it. name is Brian. Hi, my name is Brian. <laughs> I have a guava problem. I like guavas. <laughs> Look at this pretty place. Look at this, the, the roots and things on the wall. Yeah. Wall. If they're not fairies in there, I don't know where they are. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. And there's no mosquitoes. Mm. It's quite incredible. You're right, no mosquitoes. This is the water point. Where the water gets pumped down there to Long Mountain. So where your water comes from, guys. Right up near Peter Bath. Wow, oh, you just can't quite appreciate how much that drops down there. You need to come here and have a look. And like I said, it's really easy. Because you just drive through La Laura. Enjoy La Laura, it's absolutely gorgeous. And you come and park. <laughs> and then you get to see all that. Viewpoint store. On what football club they support. <laughs> oh. We just came down the wrong road. We'll be on our way now. You don't have to give me that look. And the wealthy people are coming to live here. And they're living in these huge mansions because of one reason. That is their view. I can see maybe four or five hundred meters down here. They've got these developments that are all looking at that view. But what a great place to live. It's nice and cool up here. Oh, it kind of matches. Wow. Incredible. You see it? Mm -hmm. What is that? What is that? It's a tree and a temple of gold. Oh, a golden temple? Wow. Let's go find that. So we're driving around the backwards of Laura and we see through the jungle. Lelora delivering again. Look at that. I mean, seriously, have a look. It's made of gold. I don't know if it's real gold, but I've never seen gold before. Wow. 
And we can look around this one because we, we're in the park, so we're allowed to actually look around it. But gold! And silver, that, that actually looks like silver. It's gold and silver. This is gold here. And that's silver. As the sun hits it, it's got that silver at the top. Wow! Looks like Lord Shiva. Apparently it's, it's, it's Krishna. Uh, the sun's not ideal. I'll, I'll try to get up at the top there and show it to you better. But Chariot with four horses. With Krishna. It says Sri Krishna. So, maybe it is. It's amazing. It's just like, what, what, what is this doing here? And why does nobody know about it? Oh, and, and the flagpole, the flag, I, I can't remember what it's called now, but that one is massive. The Monument of Love, and quite big elephants. Let me show you just through the door. Oh, that'd probably be pretty cool with water around it, but that's... The flagpole. Wow. It is huge. Can you hear the pigeons? I don't know if they'll come out with the wind. This just does not feel like Mauritius. I don't know what I'd expect from Thailand maybe? Yes. That looks like the jagged peaks in Thailand and this is a, a temple in a forest. It is incredible. There's like banana trees and wow. It is amazing. Up close and personal, they're actually quite massive. Wow. Hey, look at the size of them. Almost life size. It actually is. I think you could actually probably ride it. <laughs> and the carriage, the detailing. Man. Can't wait till someone donates the funds to fix this up. With the gold. Like, look at behind it. Look at the, the, the temple behind it. If you could get that gold into the gold of this. Oh, oh yeah. What a... What, what a what a thing it would be. How completely surreal. It is. This whole thing is just a little bit surreal. Yeah, I'm going to check this footage later tonight or tomorrow to make sure it wasn't a dream because yeah. this feels like a dream. It does. It feels a little bit like a dream. You've got this with the temple behind it and then on this side just the most beautiful mountain range. I am absolutely stunning. How did this turn out to be real? Well, we'll check the footage and let you know if it was real. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to wake you up in the middle of the night and be like, did you see four white horses and a gold temple? <laughs> yep, you also saw it. Okay, good. Amazing. Simply amazing. How are you doing video? Struck to I see. <laughs> this is the Napoleonic Bridge. That's a big digger. I don't know what that's doing in its way. We might actually have a look at that digger in a minute, but this is the Napoleonic Bridge. I mean, this bridge was Napoleon built... Bridge. Huh? Napoleon Bridge. Napoleon Bridge. It's Napoleon Bridge, not Napoleonic. Napoleon Bridge. Although Napoleonic sounds quite imposing. It is huge. It is huge. It's so much bigger than I thought it was. Have a look at that. We can actually get right close to it, which is awesome. I'm going to get right close to it because I can, but I have to go, I have to go up the stairs a little bit. How awesome is this bridge though? How lucky we were we that we found it. Oh man. 
it was rebuilt in the 1940s because it was washed away in a cyclone. I reckon a lot of it is still original. And it looks like they're going to build another bridge next to it so it can be safe. You can see this, this, this big machine is punching in uh, the steel into the ground. What a massive machine. But what a beautiful bridge. Okay, the top looks new. The top does look new. Yeah, I'm sure the sides would have survived. I'm sure they would have just had to rebuild the top. Wow. Did you say when it was actually built? In case Brian completely forgotten his excitement, the Napoleon Bridge was built in 1865. 1865. Wow. But up there, up there, you can actually see the original bits. That would have been original. This would have been rebuilt. And I think up there as well, there's an original piece along that wall there. I'll try to get up there. Okay, the stairs don't quite go there, but I'll try to get up there. Now that it's uh, a little bit uh, getting on towards afternoon, it's about three o'clock or so, it's actually feeling quite cold near these mountains. <laughs> I could definitely imagine that you'd need a jersey a little bit later. I think this bit was the original bit. I definitely think this was probably original. There we are. You can read a bit of the sign, erected AD 1865, rebuilt 1941. So the bridge was damaged by a cyclone and uh, it had to be rebuilt. But now that I'm on this side, I can actually see where it says Napoleonic Bridge. We'll get there in a second. So Napoleon, Napoleon Bridge. Yeah, so Napoleon Bridge, and this is probably a piece of the original, and what I showed you down there was probably part of the rebuild. But what a great bridge, what a great bridge. I mean, it's really, it's really high off the water. Wow, wow. And it's right next to this temple complex. So when you see this coming on your way to Lelora, you know, you're about to cross Napoleon Bridge. Awesome. Wow, Lelora. Of all the awesome things we saw, the temples, everything. I still think this is probably the best view that we had. Mm -hmm. And when you come to Lelora, stop here, take a selfie. It's epic. Everyone, thanks for watching. That was Lelora. You must visit. How is that? Peter Both, Lelora sign, and the old chimney. Oh man, oh wait, 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 it gets better. Get back, Lelora, come back. And we got the yellow flowers. Oh wait, we're losing Lelora. There we go, wait, 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 back a bit there. Okay, now there we go. Get your screenshot. Get your screenshot, that is it, that is it, that is the moment. <laughs> Photoshop yourself here. <laughs> Photoshop yourself here, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs>